Hi there. For this video, we are tasked to find the remainder when this expression out here is divided by 103. So to start solving this one, we note first that by knowledge on, it's right out here, modular arithmetic. We know that five to find the remainder when uh, say first 514 is divided by 103. We write it as like this and the remainder would be out here. So this one is read as 514 is congruent to this one modulo 103. So basically what's in here is the remainder. When we divide 514 by 103. And let's do that. So we have 103 by uh, 514 out here. This one is actually 4. Which would give us 412. Subtracting that would give us um, 102. So we know that the remainder is 102. So this one is actually 102. Now also by modular arithmetic, we note that 102 is congruent to negative 1 modulo 103. Uh, the reason behind this is because we can actually write this uh, modular arithmetic out here as 103 divides 102 minus negative 1. Which we know that this one out here is simply 103. So since this is true, since this one out here is true, then we know that this one out here is also true. So take note of that in modular arithmetic. And since modular arithmetics are transitive, we then know that 540 is congruent to negative 1 modulo 103. So what this tells us is that the remainder when we divide 514 by 103 is negative 1. So let's clear out some things out here. So this is our result so far. Now what if we square this? So if we square this one, then we will obtain 514 square is congruent to negative 1 square or 1 modulo 103. Now if we get the cube of this one out here, then we will obtain 514 cube is congruent to um, negative 1 cube is negative 1 modulo 103. And if we raise that 1 to 4, we will have 514 raised to 4 is congruent to 1 modulo 103. So what can we observe here? Well, if the um, if the exponent of 514 is odd, see here 3 and there is 1, then the remainder is negative 1 in this sense. We know that it is 102, but in this sense we treat it as negative 1. Now, if the exponent of 514 is even, in this case 2 or 4, then the remainder is 1. 
So this implies that with this finding that we have, we know that 514 plus 514 square plus 514 cube up until 514 is to 103. It's congruent to here modulo thir uh, not 13, it should be 103 is actually negative 1 plus 1 plus negative 1 plus 1 and so on until since 103 is odd then the last term in this one is negative 1 after that observe here that this one would actually become 0 out here so 0 out here 0 and this one would actually repeat inside here and the last one remaining would actually just be a negative one note that this won't cancel out because the pattern is negative one then one negative one then one so this negative one doesn't have a partner of plus one anymore and so we know that this whole expression out here is congruent to negative 1 modulo 103. And that is already actually the remainder of the whole expression. But if we want to treat it as a positive integer, we can go back to what we found a while ago. That is, let's put it out here, that is 102 is congruent to negative 1 modulo 103. And so we know that this one is actually congruent to 102 modulo 103. And so we have found that the remainder of the given expression when divided by 103 is actually 102. And that is the answer for this problem. The key for this problem is to know how modular arithmetic works how to use modulo this notation it's right out here the notation um a is congruent to b modulo uh, c n and know that this one is the same as n divides a minus b like that so having a um knowledge on this one would make life easier to answer this problem but if you don't know this one first i suggest that you try to search it up first and study it and so you could have a good grasp of how modulos work and so thanks for watching this video feel free to comment down below if you have any questions clarifications concerns or even your own solution to this problem. So that is all for this video.